in triangle ABC, AB equals 125, AC equals 117, and BC equals 120. The angle bisector of angle A intersects BC at point L, and the angle bisector of angle B intersects AC at point K. Let M and N be the feet of the perpendiculars from C to BK and AL respectively. Find MN. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have here. We have this rather big triangle. Um, AB is equal to 125. BC is 120. AC is 117. And AL is the angle bisector of this angle, CAB. We have this angle and this angle are equal to each other. And similarly, BK is the angle bisector of angle CBA. This angle is equal to this angle. OK. So how we solve this problem is we extend CM and CN out to reach side AB. And we're going to call these points, well, let's call them, I don't know, X and Y. And might not seem immediately obvious why we do this, but I'm going to claim that triangle BCX is isosceles. So we're going to be keeping an eye out on this triangle over here, triangle BCX. We're going to claim that this triangle is isosceles. And the reason is this. Um, so BM is perpendicular to CX. By, by default, that's, that's how um, M is defined. We also know that this angle BCM is equal to this angle X, no, sorry, CBM is angle equal to angle XBM. So let me write this down. Angle CMB is equal to 90, which is equal to angle XMB. We also have angle XBM is equal to angle CBM. And furthermore, we can we can write BM equals to BM. And what do we have but angle side angle congruence? Triangle CBM congruent to triangle XBM, which means that um, CB is equal to XB, and furthermore, M is the midpoint of CX, right? So CB equals XB, but we, but we knew that BC was equal to 120, which means that XB is 120. And therefore, AX is equal to 5, since AX and BX make up segment AB, which has length 125. So BX is 120 and AX is equal to five. And similarly, we can find that triangle ACY is also isosceles for the same reasons, right? CN is perpendicular to AN. We also have angle CAN equal to angle YAN, right? So triangle ACY is isosceles, right? And therefore, AC, I mean, no, AY is equal to AC, which is 117. And therefore, BY is equal to 8, because AY plus BY is 125. So we have AX is 5, BY is 8, which means that XY over here, this segment, has length 125 minus 5 minus 8, which is 112, right? And we also know that M is the midpoint of CX, and N is the midpoint of CY, because 
remember we had that this triangle was congruent to this triangle. So M is the midpoint of CX. And we also have that this triangle ACN is equal to this triangle ANY, meaning CN is equal to NY. So N is the midpoint of CY. So what can we do? But we look at triangle CXY. And since M and N are the midpoints of CX and CY, we have, we actually have this, this length over here. We can actually find this length over here. And how are we going to do that? We see that CM is equal to half CX. And we see that CN is equal to half CY. And furthermore, angle MCN is equal to angle XCY. So triangle CMN is actually similar to triangle CXY, right? Using side angle side similarity. And we also have the similarity ratio is one half, which means that MN is half of XY. And half of 112 is 56. So MN is equal to 56 and we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.